Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I'm back for another video on the 3.13 Echoes of the Atlas expansion. Now, a lot of people have been asking me on stream, uh, as I've been playing the end game quite a lot and battling a lot of bosses, what this actually is and how to achieve these passive skill points for this center area in the Atlas called the Uncharted Realms. Now, I know some of you may already have this and some of you won't even have a button here. You won't be able to actually see what this actually is. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do I uh, access the Uncharted Realms and how do I start earning points for the Uncharted Realms? So that's what I'm very quickly gonna talk about here today. Right before I do talk about that though, I do wanna say there is a full Atlas guide coming, an updated Atlas guide. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen my previous Atlas guide, which was just for the Conquerors of the Atlas. I'll be completely revamping that and adding in all of the Maven stuff to that as well. That's not exactly what this is. I know that a lot of you are waiting for that and that's gonna be fully scripted. This is just telling you exactly what this is and how to very easily get this. So the Uncharted Realms is uh, a lot of different passive skill points that apply to your entire Atlas, everything run on Atlas. Uh, anything from uh, giving you a plus two levels of your awakening or even granting additional chances for Elder to drop a Watcher's Eye, getting you extra Atlas missions each day, uh, some synthesis stuff, we've even got other Zana missions and everything like this, stuff that applies to everything on your Atlas. But how do you actually achieve these points? Now, it's all about the new endgame fights that are added to this game. I'm just going to pop out of here for a second and go into my stash, because right here, I have five little, uh, what kind of maps to talk about here. This is the uh, Maven's Invitation of the Hidden, the Formed, the Twisted, the Forgotten, and the Feared. Now, uh, some of you may know about the Maven uh, ability to basically watch your maps and then she uh, applies uh, extra stats to the boss and effects and everything like that. And once you defeat that boss, she has uh, basically seen that boss. Uh, she has witnessed you kill that boss and she uh, her progression goes up. In the very end game, after you've done all of your, you know, uh, 10 bars of uh, 10 boss fights and everything like that on, on the other stuff, which is coming in a new guide, so don't worry too much about that if you're still confused about all of this. I'll talk about that in the full guide when that does come out. But once you've done all of that, uh, you will start to drop these uh, randomly from uh, certain bosses, but then more deterministically from the bosses themselves. So say, for example, this Invitation of the Hidden, it says the Maven must witness Ulnatol's domain, Zoff's domain, Tool's domain, and Esh's domain. Now that's four different uh, of the uh, Breach Lords. And so you run a Breach Stone. So basically I would put a Breach Stone in here. You can kind of have a look over here. If I just grab a Breach Stone, I'm sure I've got one right about here. I grab this here. I can uh, not run into that one there. <laughs> Sorry, give me one second, let me back out. Let me back out of there, I just finished doing a Shaper, which you can also let Maven witness. So I'll put this in here, and you can access this for Maven to see your Zoff fight. Once Maven has seen your Zoff fight, uh, then that should be totally fine, uh, and you can do like Tool and everything like that. And once you've done all four, uh, you can run this in your map device. Now you can just use it as a normal map, so you can go like this, you can scour it, run it white. I would very much recommend anyone who's trying this at the beginning or the start, uh, the first time to actually do this, I would very, very uh, much recommend you to run it white because they're gonna be pretty insane. Um, but uh, yeah, you can run this if you complete the fight within the Maven's Arena of all four of these uh, Breach bosses, you get, for the first time that you complete it, you get two of these inner Atlas passive uh, skill tree points. So we can see here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12. 12 in total. So that means we get two from each of these, and then one from the very end game boss, which is the Maven herself. Now I have uh, have managed to kill Maven a couple of times, which is pretty exciting. Uh, Maven is a lot of fun to fight. I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, so you, you get uh, two passive skill points per each of those. Only one time, so you can't just keep getting them so you can just feel out like the whole thing. I've chosen to go for more of an Atlas-based uh, strategy here instead of Synthesis, where I'm farming um, Guardians and Cirrus uh, basically just constantly, and then doing the um, doing the uh, Hydra, uh, Minotaur, Phoenix, and Chimera invitation, 
and also the Purify Constrictor Enslaver Eradicator invitation as well whenever I can. So uh, there is also Synthesis one. So we've talked about the four. The last one is crazy. The last one is Cortex Boss, Hayula, Uber Itziri, Shaper, and Elder all in the one boss fight. Now, I have also uploaded a video for this fight as well. Uh, if you want to check that one out, I did manage to succeed this as well. I'll put the link down below. That one was a crazy fight. Um, almost as hard as Maven herself, but Maven definitely is the hardest part about all of this content here. Uh, if that made sense, please let me know down in the comments below. And if it didn't make sense, also make sure to let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to uh, help if I can, but I just wanted to clear a few things up of that's how you actually get these, these Atlas passive skill trees in the middle here. It is the very end game, so you're not gonna experience it until you pretty much get right to the end and you're in your T14 to T16 maps. Then you will start dropping, uh, rarely, these ones here. Uh, and if you want to focus, try and drop these invitations a little bit more, you can, say for example, if I ran Esh over and over, I would have a greater chance of dropping the Maven's Invitation, the Hidden, or those uh, Breach Lords than I would just in any other map or anything like that as well. So I've got a few more over here. I've got a lot of invitations for um, Atlas regions themselves here as well. You can see that once you get into the end game and you just start grinding, you start running a lot of maps, you get more than you could actually ever use. I've been using them as much as I can, and I still am just getting way too many. That's everything there. If you want to come and see this stuff happen live, you can do so at twitch.tv slash thisisbadger. Uh, I'm on live there most days uh, and we're having a lot of fun. So definitely jump over and check us out. And if you like this kind of video, hit that subscribe button down below. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're waiting for that Atlas guide, the more in-depth Atlas guide, because that is on its way. I'm gonna try and get that out by the end of the week. Thank you so much, everyone. And until next time, Badger, out.